All right, Lindy Terrell, Mr. Terrell, as I like to call. Thank you. Uh, David and Josh's dad. First off, what's it like having your boys home? It's a 10 hour flight for your boys at American from Honolulu here. What's it like having them home for? Well, for uh, the fun part is, I always talked to tow coach. I said, you think I wanted them to come out? I was trying to get them out of our house, you know, actually. <laughs> but it's great to have them home, man. Uh, and for Hawaii, there's not too many kids ever get to wrestle at the Division One level. And so to have our kids wrestling, and not only that, to come and wrestle in front of the crowd, they've never had that before here. So it's a blessing for us. And uh, the, the sad part was that there was a tournament, high school tournament on the same day, but the pr level of wrestling was great. I mean, we don't get to see it in Hawaii very often unless we travel to the mainland. So it was great. I love having him here. Josh is really undersized at 133. Yeah. And he got, he got, you know, he caught a, a couple beatings today, but uh, you know, he, he's scrappy, he's tough. David is right there at 125. You look at that match with Melhoff. How appropriate of an ending was that? That was exciting. That was exciting, absolutely. How David. much did you like that? I loved it, man. Josh, I, I, the, the thing that hurt us for Josh was that on the flight home, he caught a bug. But I told him, hey, you know what? Welcome to wrestling, man. You got to wrestle. You got to go, man. So he actually was a, a little sick and underweight. But, you know, that's the name of the game. You got to go fight. You got to go fight. So. You know, looking at, understand. you know, Hawaiian wrestling, you talk about it. I think Travis Lee is probably the best guy yeah. ever to come out here. He was pretty good, though. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a lot of judo-themed things that I see both boys do, you know, they do the overtie shucks. The, yeah. They love the overhooks and the step-across tosses. And it's really exciting yeah. to watch. But, you know, getting him involved in judo, how much would you suggest that to a parent? Uh, in Hawaii, uh, judo's going through, experiencing some of the problems that wrestling was going through with the Olympics and that sort of thing and the, the rule changes and things. So uh, I'm, I'm a, a big advocate. We, we never looked at wrestling, actually. That wrestling came to us uh, as an afterthought, actually, because we didn't understand uh, collegiate wrestling. We didn't understand it as well. Travis Lee was a great influence. As a matter of fact, Travis Lee uh, went to a club called Shobukan, which is the third oldest judo club in America. And uh, my, both of my kids attended the same judo club. So there's some ha some heritage to their wrestling that comes from that club that we went, that we, we, the judo club that we went to. But um, judo definitely influenced. And for Hawaii, you got any chance you get to fight on the mat, you fight because there's not enough wrestling, in my opinion, here to get good unless you travel. So we spent a lot of time going to Fargo and Super 32 and anything, and it cost us a ton of money, as you probably could imagine, to travel. And people think we're crazy because we'd leave here to go to the mainland and go fight and spend our time over there. But that's the only way you can get good here. But it's nice to have them come here and wrestle. So that's a be that's beautiful for us. David Terrell is registered to go to the University of Hawaii. Kyle Borshoff. Oh, you got to start. You got to start. Exactly. Start calling you. He's an uncommitted senior. At Fargo, what's that like for you, knowing your kid's going to stay within 15 minutes, then he's going to go 10 hours away, halfway across the world? What's that like for you as a father? It, it was a total shock. And uh, it's funny you tell that story because I was sitting in the stands when the, the finals were coming and he was facing uh, Thomas Gilman. And uh, the announcer says, he's just made a ton of money for college because he's an unattached 125, you know, 120. I'm like, yeah, whatever, you know. And, all these coaches look at me, I'm like, what's going on, you know? And they goes, they, they came and approached me and they says, Mr. Terrell, where is he wrestling? I'm like, he's not wrestling, he, he's done with wrestling. We're gonna go to the University of Hawaii. He's like, you don't understand what's going on, do you? I'm like, no, tell me. And then he, they explained to me what was gonna happen. I was like, you're kidding me, right? Sure enough, man, I mean, like, people were asking me about making him offers and I was totally shocked because we're gonna quit wrestling. And so from from the time he, uh, he played second at Fargo to a, to, he went to American was four weeks. We had no NCAA clearinghouse, nothing. We went, we, in four weeks we had to get everything. Those are really good students. So like clearinghouse that was kinda, never an issue. That that kind of helped me, but we had no one. We were we didn't know what was going on, and it was crazy. But with Josh, it was a little different. We understood now. Oh, now we understand a little bit more. So Josh was a little better prepared, I think, to go up there. But for us, it's the, you know it's it's a quality education, and I knew Teague and I knew Kyle. They're going to take care of my kids, so been more than happy to send them up there. But there's other Hawaii kids up there doing well, doing up, going up to wrestle as well. But uh, David, see, uh, David and Josh seem to be the ones that have been performing lately. So. What do you do here? What's your job? Uh, I work for the Department of the Army, actually. I'm a, one of the things, I'm a weapons instructor for the Department of the Army in Hawaii. Is it, does living on an island, is that something where now your kids are on the mainland, the United States of America, lower 48, some people call it, whatever you want to call it. But is living on an island something that, like, gets old ever? Uh, 
Sometimes, I mean, but we travel. My wife and I, we, we you know, we, we're always at, we're gonna always be at NCAA's and the EIWA's for sure. So that's our travel time now. But it, I mean, like you know, this weather. After I get, I go to the mainland. Eh, I want to come back. You know, <laughs> we're shorts all the time. It, it, the cost of living here is expensive. That's for sure. But. Uh, I leave it up to my children whether they want to come back and live here or not. That's up to them. But Hawaii's always going to be here. They got a good name for themselves here, so that's another plus, I would say. Well, the biggest thing I have to say to you is mahalo. Oh, thank you very much. Man. I, I really appreciate everything. You guys have been so hospitable. You did the hospitality room here around the corner. Your, you and your always, wife did. Yeah. And we appreciate it. And uh, anything else, you know, that you can think of that you could share with us that would make this, uh, you know, a better experience for anyone if they ever come here. Or, you know, is this promote something? Hawaii, man. Promote Hawaii, man. Uh, some of these kids, the, the beauty of you guys coming down from Flows and, uh, and for Jay Rob and you know Mark, Mark Cody and uh, Coach Zaleski to bring these guys down and team. Some of these Hawaii kids will never ever see Division One wrestling ever unless it's on television, and they never get exposed. For some of these kids, it's a, it's the first time they'll, they'll see it, and we just don't get that exposure. The kids don't, you know, and some of them don't leave the island, and that's a sad thing to me because there's a bigger world out there for them to see. You know, and some of them, some of the good kids that, that wrestle here may never get a shot. You know, my kids are lucky, I think. David got a big break. He was at the right place at the right time at Fargo. He kind of made it, though. He made it for himself. True, absolutely, you know. But uh, I think that there's better kids here that if they knew. Or put it this way, when some of the kids here saw my, my children, they were like, oh, David can do it. It kind of gave them hope that they could come up and they might have a chance at wrestling at that level. So we appreciate you guys taking the time to come on. You know, our lifeline to wrestling is flows. You know that. So that's great that you guys came down as well. So hospitality is always here for you guys, that's for sure. Well, hey, once again, mahalo. Mahalo. And I'm going to go jump off some cliffs and maybe try and surf. <laughs> and I've already been doing it. Don't do the cliff jump. I already did it. I already did it like twice, two different days. So, hey, thanks for the time. Mahalo. mahalo. And uh, enjoy. I'll see you in St. Louis, all right? Yeah, definitely. I'll see you in St. Louis. All right.